Welcome back to COA. I'm your man Insomniac and today we are looking at the cheapest cordless drill on Amazon. Thing number one here is that it's made by Black & Decker. So as opposed to some of the other things I've reviewed on this channel so far where clearly the cheapest thing on Amazon is going to wind up being some kind of overseas off-brand that you've never heard of, the cheapest brand new cordless drill on Amazon is made by Black & Decker. Pretty sure most of us have heard of Black & Decker. This is an eight volt lithium ion drill. It includes the charger and it includes a reversible uh, Phillips or flathead drill bit. And apparently that's it. But really that's all you need. If you want extra stuff, you buy extra stuff. 400 RPM max is the speed, 1.32 pounds. Uh, the rest of that really doesn't matter. And there's not really too much of anything else that's interesting on the box. So let's open it up. Inside the box we have, you guessed it, a drill, obviously. And then buried down here, we have the bit. And then down at the bottom of the box, locked under some annoying cardboard, you have your charger and your instruction manual. I have no idea. This looks like there's quite a bit of pages here. What in the hell could this possibly say that you would need an instruction manual if this many, it's a drill. Does anybody actually not know how to use a drill? Well, here's an instruction manual and I don't, I'm not gonna waste any time with that. If you don't know how to use a drill, you're probably not watching this video anyway. And here it is. Okay, so for a size comparison, I whipped out my trusty Craftsman drill, you can see here. And uh, here is the Black & Decker, kind of fits under it. It's not terribly small. Uh, and actually, in terms of grip size, it's about the same size as any other drill, like my Craftsman here. But obviously, in terms of height and length and even width, it is uh, quite a bit smaller than your standard full-size drill. So I haven't fully charged this yet, and I'm going to do that before we test it out. But it's actually got some juice here out of the box. Seems kind of slow. I don't know if that's just because it's not fully charged or because that's all we're gonna get. We're gonna see that later though. It's a drill, so it's fairly light and makes an interesting rattling sound. Not sure if you can hear that. One thing I do like about it is the grip. You can see here that it's rubberized all the way around, which I uh, don't think you'd be using this if your hands were wet, but if you were, you'd actually be able to hold on to it quite easily. Or if you're doing something that requires a good amount of torque, although I don't know how much torque this is going to have. We are going to test that out later, like I said. But it has a really good grip on it, so that's nice. It's actually large and comfortable. But without using it, there's really not a whole lot else to talk about. It's a drill. We need to drill some things with it. All right, so the first thing i got to do is get off camera and let this charge fully, because like I showed you, it has some juice, but that doesn't tell me whether or not it's fully charged. I want to give it the fairest shake possible before we do the tests to uh, see what it could really handle. Once it's charged, I have an eight foot wooden ramp outside that I need to attach a half inch solid piece of oak to. So we are gonna stick some screws through there. Uh, that should give me an idea of how well this will drive. And then I have another test planned for it, but we'll get to that in a little bit. You saw there I used two different types and lengths of screws through some pretty thick wood. I drove a lot of them through there and I didn't see any dip in the power. It drove pretty consistent. It's not as powerful or as fast obviously as a regular, I say regular drill, but what I mean is like 
one that's a little bit larger and a little bit more serious. But if you're gonna be doing any kind of like serious contracting style work, you're certainly not ordering this drill. But what that shows me is that this will tackle most of anything that you're gonna encounter in the home, I suppose. So it works fairly well, a little bit better than I thought actually. So it seems to be a fairly decent drill for the money. But will it make cookies? So yeah, it'll make cookies. Passes the test. And one very good thing to point out in this test is that you saw me drill all those screws. You saw me using this thing as a mixer for however many minutes that was. I've only charged it once. That was right after the unboxing clip. And we still got juice. So the battery on here is actually pretty impressive. Now, I don't know about the long term. As you all know, these are initial impression tests, brand new out of the box. so. If you know more about how well this battery works down the line after a year or two of owning it or something, feel free to leave comments down below, but battery works pretty well. And actually for the money, the whole drill works pretty well. So yeah, for the price, the uh, current cheapest drill on Amazon, it's actually pretty damn good. Again, unless you're gonna be doing any kind of heavy duty contractor style, hardcore carpentry or, you know, stuff that you need more serious tools for. Otherwise, I think this will actually do the job. Pretty impressed with it for the price. If you have one of these, definitely leave a comment down below. Let everybody else know what you think of it. If you have suggestions for anything you'd like to see reviewed here on Cheapest on Amazon, leave those down below in the comments. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends about this ridiculousness. I'm going to get back to eating cookies. I'll see you all at the next one.